happy 2017, my beautiful shining stars. Yo, yo. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. Know that you're amazing, beautiful, awesome, and I'm so happy that you stopped by Christmas Star TV today. I gotta admit, it's a little bittersweet right now because Come on, Christmas is amazing. I feel like the whole year leads up to it. I love fall, but Christmas, oh, it's over. But that's okay, because I'm pretty much gonna leave up my decorations uh, probably till March. I feel that we live in North Pole and we could kind of get away with it, so, you know. Plus, you guys know my little secret. It's the most wonderful time of the year because people are playing Christmas music 24 seven, which I love, I am not annoyed by, and everything's decked out with twinkling lights and beautiful, elegant displays. Family are getting together, friends are getting together, there's food, there's fun, there's games, there's presents, and most importantly to me, the best gift ever. We're celebrating Jesus' birth, you guys, I mean, so when I was a wee little child, we used to have this tradition. For Christmas Eve, we'd go over to my dad's side of the family's house and it was awesome. We have a magnificent, beautiful, huge, awesome family. The house would be packed out with family and friends. There would be a smorgasbord of food, delicious food. All the cousins would be playing and we would read the Christmas story. They would talk about Jesus' birth. Sometimes we'd go to Christmas in the park and go ice skating. It was just so awesome. And then we would wait till 12 midnight. And when 12 midnight hit, everybody got passed out of presents and we would wreak havoc, tear open things, things would be flying, kids would be laughing, screaming, crying with joy, it was amazing. And then we would go around hugging everybody, thanking everybody, and then just play with all the toys and try on the outfits, it was glorious. Then when we would wake up Christmas morning, we would wake up at my mom dad's house and we'd have these really cool stockings with moose on them, which we loved, and we'd open it up and I'd have like big giant bubblegum candy canes and like those glow in the dark bracelets with little crosses on them and uh, tons of toys and candy in there. And then underneath the tree, we'd open up the gifts that our mom and dad had gotten us and it was awesome. And then after that, we'd go to my mom's side of the family's house, which was amazing. And we would eat this beautiful brunch that my grandma would prepare. So good, so tasty. And we would do the same thing. We'd gather around the tree, hand out the presents, tear into them, go crazy, and then try on the outfits, play with the toys, and it was amazing. And now that I'm grown and I'm married, I am part of the Lincoln family, and I want to tell you about the Lincoln family traditions. On Christmas Eve, it's amazing. We go to church, have a candlelight service, it's awesome, and then we come back over here to our house and we open up a gift from our beloveds. Aww. So the married couples buy the spouse a gift of pajamas and goodies, and then the brothers and sisters that are not married, they buy for each other. It's awesome. Then we'll have food. Sometimes we have snack tray. This year we had nachos. And then we'll hang out, play games. Sometimes we'll go in the fireside room. Jacob or Leo will play the piano. We'll get out the instruments. We'll sing carols. It's awesome. Then Christmas morning, everybody gets ready in their pajamas for Christmas breakfast. Mm. Mom Lincoln will make cherry bread and cinnamon rolls. And this year, my sister-in-law, Christiane, made some bomb breakfast burritos. So tasty. Everybody has eaten, had their tummy stuffed, and had their coffee. We head on downstairs for the gift unwrapping festivities. So we adults, AKA big kids, draw names in October, and we have from October to December to buy for our one special person. And we get gifts for one another, but the one person, they get the mother load. So I got my sister-in-law, Alana, which she asked for tons of baby stuff, being she's a new mommy now. We have an amazing, gorgeous nephew, Braxton. We love you. <coughs> And my sister-in-law, Chambray, got me. So a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be showing you is from my amazing sister-in-law, Chambray, and my amazing husband, Jacob. So let's just jump on into the show, we? So one of my favorite movies of the years is Trolls. You guys, I love this movie so much that I saw it three times in the movie theater, and I'm planning to do a poppy tutorial very soon. So Jacob got me this Trolls book. I also got this Trolls coloring book because coloring is one of my favorite things to do. And Chambray got me this one and this one. Ooh. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Clean up. Well, since I just spilled this everywhere, I might as well show 
Chambray knows I love Disneyland. So she got me a bunch of Disney snacks from Disneyland. <laughs> I spilled it everywhere. I love it, but the kernels get stuck in my teeth. <clears throat> this inspiration coloring book and Art of Coloring Disney Villains. A hundred images to inspire creativity and relaxation. She also got me this book on Mother Teresa, which honestly, I'm not a big reader, but I'm going to read this book because she's awesome. Anybody who ever struggled with dyslexia or ADD knows what I'm talking about. I'm also a big fan of bright, beautiful, bold colors and Lisa Frank. So she got me this Lisa Frank sweater. How awesome is this? Wow! And Jacob bought me these sweet Betsy Johnson socks. Oh my gosh. And I also like things that are glittery and shiny. Anybody else got the Moana soundtrack stuck in their head? Shiny. This is a glitter lava lamp. Lava lamp glitter. It sparkles and it's beautiful and I love it. Mm. She also got me this big, beautiful, shiny pink travel bag, which is perfect because Jacob and I have been doing a lot of traveling lately. Shameless plug, if you watch Charisma Life TV, which is our vlog channel, you could catch all the episodes of Vlogmas that we did throughout Christmas and our Southeast Asia travels. And look at this beautiful, shiny, sparkly makeup bag that is attached to it, I love it. Inside, I also got this Victoria's Secret bag, which is perfect for travel, Yeah. And this nifty Victoria's Secret purse as well. Check out this awesome glow and grow group plant. Try saying that five times. It's so cute. And some family fun games for the house. We got jesters and pie in the face. Boy, I wanna play this wearing a full face of makeup. She also got me the sweet cell phone holder, which I could um, film videos with freedom, hands free. That's awesome. And you guys know how I feel about Disney. This is the Disney Princess Dream Big Princess um, album for our record player. Yay. I definitely love the Hall of Fame song that they play on the Disney uh, commercials for Disney Princess. I love it. <sighs> so my baby knows that I love rest and relaxation in our bathtub because it is an awesome tub. So he got me this Gorilla Grip non-slip luxury spa bath pillow. You guys don't know how much this means. He also knows that I'm obsessed with cheese platters, so he got me a cheese platter board for myself from the Alaska Bowl Company, which is awesome. He also got me this sweet, comfy, warm sweater from the Amazon, amazon.com, which goes perfectly with these boots that Chambray got me. How cute are these? Yes, I'm a boot girl. I definitely love wearing boots over sneakers. I also got an abundance of vanilla bean Noel. My mom got me some, which, if you guys know me, that's like my, my all-time go-to scent. So she got me this glittery one. Woo! It comes in this like sweet holder, which I love. And she got me the set, and then I got some more Vanilla Bean Noel from um, Chambray. So I'm stocked up, you guys, and I'm excited to use this scent wherever I go and let people smell sweet goodness. We Lincolns happen to be coffee obsessed, and um, I love iced coffee, Jacob loves hot coffee. I bought him a Gaja, it's Italian, uh, espresso maker for his birthday, and he's been popping out coffees like crazy, which this comes in perfectly handy, a sparkly Starbucks cup for my sister. Also, a begin each day with a grateful heart with a beautiful candle because I love candles, especially ones that smell like cupcakey cookie cake goodness. Another thing I am totally obsessed with is Snapchat. It's like a daily vlog of my life, every single bit. And um, Jacob got me these bad boys. Let's open it up and see. These are Snapchat spectacles, you guys, where you put them on and you could basically record your Snapchat from your eyes, without your hands. It's awesome. We are living in the future, you guys. And it's rad. Jacob informed me that these things are not even available. You could only buy them from one booth in the world and it changes, right? Like, it moves every 24 hours. That's crazy. Okay, you guys, I have been saving the last gift I got, which is the best gift for last. So I open this cute, adorable lunchbox Zoom Zoom bag, and inside of it was a letter. And on this letter, it goes to explain Jacob's love for me, how he loves like traveling, and he looks forward to traveling the world um, this year. And inside of that are two tickets 
for Tokyo Disney. <laughs> Tokyo Disney, you guys. This has been the theme park that I've been wanting to go to forever. It's been a huge dream of mine. It's rated like the best Disney parks out of all the parks, and I'm going to Tokyo Disney and Tokyo Disney Sea. <laughs> best Christmas gift ever? Tokyo Disney is like so awesome. First off, the merch alone, you guys, is super cute and kawaii, like these ears and stuff. Like they have so many cute things that I cannot wait to get my hands on. I believe it's the biggest Disneyland park in the world. And they have Tokyo Sea, which has like Mermaid Lagoon. It's like a whole section of the park dedicated to the Little Mermaid, where they even have a show where Ariel is an aerialist. <laughs> I definitely want to film some really cute OOTDs. I have ideas in my head of like a Mermaid Lagoon look and an Arabian look, uh, like Jasmine, because they have like that kind of a land. Also, a kimono mini and like an Easter Bunny mini, because I think it's going to be around. March or April when we go. <laughs> With it came this cute printout of me in Tokyo Disney. See, there I am, right there. <laughs> Thanks to my bro-in-law, Joss, who uh, printed this sucker out at Advanced Printing, my father-in-law's print shop. Shameless plug. And a map of the Tokyo Disney Resort and a uh, Disney Sea. <laughs> and I also collect Disney traditions. Um, Jacob has gotten me quite a few since we've been married. And this one happens to be Mickey in a kimono. So like, it's adorable. But when I opened it, poor Mickey was ball headed. <laughs> His little ears came off. <laughs> Ooh. After endless hours of gift opening and fun, we head over back to our Lincoln house where we have the big Christmas dinner. Prom rib, y'all. Ginormous Alaskan cream crab, yummy salad and fixings. It is delicious. Five star meal, y'all. It's the big shebang. Then with bellies delightfully full, we end up watching Christmas movies or singing Christmas carols or playing games and then pass out. It's amazing. So that's pretty much it for my What I Got for Christmas 2016. All in all, it was an amazing Christmas, amazing year. Yeah! Let me know in the comment section below what videos you guys wanna see in 2017. Also, if you have any Christmas or holiday traditions that you guys do with your family, let me know below too. And don't forget to check out the full Vlogmas on Charisma Life TV. I'll leave it down in the description box below. Wishing you guys the best in 2017. Remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Mwah.